good morning. It's been a minute. How are you, friends? Figured I'd say hello, cause seriously though, it's, I don't remember the last video I made. I know I recorded and then never posted one on my second anniversary of sobriety. I was at Disney and that actual day was the day I went to Hogwarts. I mean, Universal Studios, but really, the only reason I went there was Hogwarts. I wanted to say hello and to say I'm still out there fighting the good fight, not drinking, and being happy. Today I am 770 days sober. So I know I should have waited a week and had a 777 jackpot. Oh well. Better now than never, right? I have, you know, like a hundred maybe subscribers on this channel and I love you guys, especially if you watch. Thank you. Well, I love you either way. My guess is most of you, most of you maybe have a little bit of knowledge about addiction. Maybe you have friends or family. Maybe you've gone through it yourself or maybe you're just awesome in supporting me. No matter why you're here, thank you, thank you, thank you. What I wanted to share though is I have just been jumping on the bandwagon watching the HBO series Sharp Objects. I don't have HBO, but I do have a subscription through Amazon Prime. So if you don't know that little tip, check it out. There are some amazing shows like Westworld and if you like Game of Thrones and etc. But my current show, I just started yesterday and binged like the first two or three episodes when I was supposed to be going to sleep because it was a school night, but it's Sharp Objects. Oh my gosh, the amount of alcohol on that show. And honestly, they're not, it's not a Mad Men situation, which by the way, I've never watched, but I've heard that they drink constantly and that it can be a trigger for people. But on Sharp Objects, Amy Adams' character is a classic alcoholic. She drinks constantly all day long and she's functioning. She's a reporter. She's getting information to help solve or report, technically just a report about some murders. She has a very troubled past. There are a lot of similarities. Well, I'll take that back. The similarities are it's a southern town. I grew up in a southern town, but mine was not a small town like that. I definitely did not grow up with a mother like hers who's constantly worried about what will people think and don't bring that, that negative blah 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 my point is it is such a accurate representation at least so far of alcoholism and the constant obsession with having alcohol present and drinking and then sneaking drinking and then denying it and then feeling shitty about it all the time and people around you probably knowing it was it's a it's a reminder to me and it makes me realize how far I've come and how happy I am to not be in that life right now now I have learned through recovery elevator the minute you think you got this and it's not a problem anymore you're you've taken your first step towards relapse so I try to stay honest with myself and to never think like that. And so when I watch shows like Sharp Objects and when I see that, there is not one ounce of superiority in me. There is not one ounce of whew, glad that's over, glad that's behind me, glad I'm never gonna do that again because you can't say what you'll never do in recovery. You can say, I'm sober today, I'm happy today, my life has improved, and I know if I'm not careful, I could slip any any moment. If you haven't watched that show, I very highly recommend it. I mean, I'm only, again, about three episodes in, and I don't know 
where it's going to go. I know I did have to fast forward through the part where there's a pig head. <laughs> um, I don't like violence and murder, but pretty much 99% of all the shows out there that aren't cooking shows or kids shows seem to have violence and murder in it. I just close my eyes or look away when they show, you know, dead bodies and things. That's not a huge amount of screen time on the show, therefore I still recommend it. The story is interesting so far. I really like the way it's filmed too. I really like the flashes. I haven't noticed cinematography like this before that I can recall where there are just flashes super fast, like one second or less of an image. And it really makes me feel like that's what it's like when you have memories or when you're trying not to remember things or when you're back in a place you haven't been since you were younger or since you went through a traumatic experience and you're suppressing it or trying to push it down or in her case trying to drink it away and numb herself constantly. Just flashes, images of this violent thing or this horrible moment or maybe it's even a good moment, just the pain, the way it comes in flashes. And I mean, you can sit and dwell on it, but even when you try to suppress, you know, it's going to be there. I like the way that's shown. It feels so honest and accurate. The portrayal of losing time. I don't know that she blacks out, but she falls asleep and then wakes up and she'll be in her car, you know, in a parking lot where she had just sat and started listening to music or whatever, you know? Oh, and that feeling when you first wake up. Oh, oh, I hate that. I'm so glad. That's not my daily life currently. And I hope to, I really hope it doesn't ever come back because it's, it's awful. And seeing all these images and all these people drinking, the whole damn town drinks, which I, I feel like might be another thing that's accurate with small towns. I haven't lived in a small town really ever. So I don't know, but from what I've heard, small towns when there's nothing to do a lot of times people do a lot of drinking and I lost my train of thought there I went on a tangent but I think what I was saying is rather than it being triggering for me seeing all these people drinking and rather than it making me want to drink it's just a really good reminder I have waxed on long enough and I am going to say bye again for now. I hope it won't be another however long it's been. Six months, nine months. I don't know how long it's been. Has it been since my one year? I hope it hasn't been a year, but maybe it has. I feel like there was one since then. Either way, I'm here. Reach out. You can find me on Facebook. You can always find me on my other channel. Athena Beth Black because if you leave comments on this channel I don't always see them since I don't click over to this channel as much but you can message me through Facebook or on my other channel and thank you always to those of you who have been here all along I love you you mean a lot to me and we are a family all right guys stay sober Peace.